Hello Ginventers and welcome to day number 21 of the Ginvent Chronicles. It's Saturday night and it's a night to boogie. So today you join me in Georgie P's House of Jazz. Today we have this bottle of Mum God Save the Gin. Now this gin is made with exotic botanicals and berries to give a touch of smoothness. Nice. And packs a vibrant berry taste and a distinctly sweet finish. Hmm, reminds me of a first date I once had. This is gonna be something very different, I think, to some of the other gins we've tasted so far in the Gin Vent Chronicles. Now, tonight, for one night only, you're in for a really special treat. Whilst I am tasting this gin, I am going to be accompanied by my house band, the Georgie Peas. Take it away, boys. have it well done boys well done absolutely brilliant that band just love them fancy a drink later chaps good looking as well aren't they i thought right let's have a little taste of this god save the gin berries mm. mary berries cool oh, wow very very smooth definitely agree with the royal smoothness Lovely, lovely, sweet flavour all throughout the mouth. Not a dry gin, not big hits of juniper or citrusy notes. It's definitely led by that very sweet red berry flavour. On a summer's day, oh, that would be absolutely delicious. Oh, that is summer in a glass. Think Ascot, think Wimbledon, think a trip to the jolly old seaside. That is very, very nice. 
good PIMS alternative, I'd say. If you're not a massive fan of PIMS, but you quite like a gin and tonic, so refreshing, really nice and sweet from those red berries. Hmm, just delicious. Now for me, I'm not gonna be putting this on the gin shelf right now, but I think come the summer, this will definitely be going on the gin shelf. And whilst we're on that note, we've got the two bottles from the last two days to talk about whether they go on the gin shelf or not. First off, let's start with last night's bottle of Theodore Pictish Gin. Short and sweet, it's going on the gin shelf. It absolutely has to. It was delicious, love the flavors, very well balanced. It's got to be on there. The night before, the Ungava Canadian Gin. Again, I really enjoyed it, a very different flavor, but I'm not quite sure it's bettered anything on the gin shelf currently. So for me, I'm gonna pop and garver back in the gin vent calendar. Right, so we'll leave it there for today. I hope you enjoyed my house band. They were absolutely fantastic, weren't they? Go and enjoy your Saturday evening, whatever you get up to. Have a very Merry Christmas. And go and get yourselves a bottle of this mum, God Save the Gin, if you want to bring a bit of summer to these dark, cold winter nights. I'll leave you there. I'm gonna have another, of course. Why wouldn't I at Saturday night? We'll see you tomorrow for day 22.